Up next, we have something really special, really special. And when we saw it, we just knew we had to share it. Take a look. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site and sits atop one of the highest points in St. Kitts. It is the Brimstone Hill Fortress, designed by the British and built by African slaves. It started in 1690, that's when they started to build the fort, to way up to 1805, so it took over 100 years and it saw action back and forth between the French and the British because the island was once divided between both of the French and the British. In 1627, they divided the island between both France and Britain. French and both ends, and the British was in the middle of the island. So, um, you know, in that way, they were able to, um, you know, divide the island. But that caused, you know, back and forth battle, you know, to who, um, who would own the island altogether. You know, and um, in 1713, the entire island was then signed over to the British. You know, and um, that didn't stop the, the French, you know, they came again. In 1782, they came. That was the great siege of Brimstone Hill. You know, and um, the French came with 8,000 soldiers, 29 warships. The British only had close to 1,000 soldiers here. The battle lasted a whole month. You know, the British ran out of supplies and ammunition because the battle was only on the lower level. At that time, they were not at the citadel at that time. They did not build the citadel yet at that time. They just built um, the lower level further down where the magazine bastion is and so on. They had the gunpowder and ammunition and stuff stored down there. But they ran out of supplies and ammunition, so they had to give up the fort. They surrendered. Um, they walk out beating their drums, you know, waving the white flag, surrendering. You know, but the following year, it was restored back to them by the Treaty of Versailles that ended the revolutions, you know, between the French and the Brit British. The citadel here is the strongest hole, the last line of defense, you know, and you have different rooms serve different purposes. Rooms serve as barracks where they slept. One will serve as a hospital. You know, you have different gunpowder rooms where they stored the gunpowder ammunition and so on. You have the bakehouse and the latrine and, and so on. You know, the, this is the gun deck we are standing on. And the gun deck was for long-range artillery, firing long-range, and they have cannons on each side to protect land assault as well as the ocean and, and so on. And this is what they used to wear back in the 16th century. This is called the British Long Pattern Musket. The nickname is um, Bone Base. This is also called the gun. The bayonet, which is attached to Guys, guys. So you could have gotten a lot of part-time jobs. Why did you get this one? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about the idea. Mm -hmm. And it is a great idea to show a little action at this one. Instead of you all seeing the mannequins. <laughs> So you're a young person and you're interested in history. Why is that? What, what is it about it? Well, um, it's good to know what you, 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 um, you, you missed, you know. And, and after I come here, I came here to work, um, you know, I started to get more interested. You know, I learned it in school, but after coming here, you start to realize things. You start to realize things that, you know, you missed over the not being alive, you know. So um, that's what history does for you. It could you know, take you back in time, things that you um, you missed out on, and so on, you know, so it could help you to um, educate, you know, children and so on of history of the past and things of that nature, yeah. Old pirates, yes, they were by, so lied to the merchant ships, minutes after they took I from the bottomless pit. But my hands was made strong By the hand of the Almighty We forward in this generation Triumphantly Won't you help to sing Another song of freedom Is all I ever have 
redemption songs is all I ever have. Redemption songs. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.